Hello and welcome back my friends to the last breath of the Coradian Empire. I'm Daily Fix and this is the start of chapter 2. A story made by Aiden Benavi. A story of bravery and of heroism is spreading across the land. The story of James Underwood. Far and wide peasants hear of a noble who defends the poor and those who cannot defend themselves. James had never foreseen this. He acquired a squire, Aiden Benavi, an extremely loyal chap that devoted and devoted to him. His fame grew and so did his list of enemies. The lords of the land were jealous as they always were. How? Do these peasants think that a stupid boy is better than us? The lords feared that this boy would inspire others to stand up to tyranny, their tyranny. The lords did everything they could to kill James. A wave of corruption and treachery is coming his way. But he did not stand alone. Many peasants, warriors and even knights rallied to him. They were the Hatch Knights, and Death walked with them. Okay, go. Wow, that is an amazing story once again. Thank you so much, Aiden. It's um, always a pleasure. I really, I really love these sort of role-playing features into a, a mod. So, yeah, go, go wait. Go wait, yes. Oh, man. So, uh, we are here in one of the North Town. Um, I did do some work off camera. Uh, we were in I'm increasing my companion issue of my, my army size, as you can see here. I got one of these guys that Iden once again was uh, knocked out. But look at him, he is starting to become. Ah, oh, he, he, he looks cool, he looks amazing. Uh, so, I'll, I'll explain to you what we will do. I am now allowed to get more companions into my army. And those companions I would like to be of your making. And with your making I mean in let me know in the comment section a name and even perhaps the weapons that you can that you want to use. So I can do that in the diplomacy uh, upgrading feature. And it's going to be awesome. So I, I want as many companions as possible. Uh, I believe that companion complaints is of now unfortunately companion complaints of doesn't necessarily mean that they will never leave It only turns off the complaints So it can be the possibility that you choose uh, a name and that eventually the companion will leave What will I what I will promise that eventually and I think that we might want to go up to our own faction at some point And we will bring back all of those companions and see if we can make them into loyal vessels uh, that will stand against the empire and make it crumble. And not only the empire, because there is a lot of tyranny going on. And we all know that James, James, this man here, he despises the way the nobles are treating the peasants. And I always say, a good leader is there for everyone, and not only those of equal wealth. So, how this will start is we're going to invest some money into enterprises. We will grow an army and we will select a faction that we will start attacking. And hopefully that will build us enough renown that we can grow into a massive army and eventually perhaps take over one of the major, major towns. So, without further ado, let's just go and look around the streets for the Guildmaster. Uh, we are going to be needing the Guildmaster because I definitely want an Enterprise. Oh my god, look at that. That's actually a sea. Wait, is it sea or grass? Sea, grass, sea, uh, whatever. Uh, so, let's go around and see where the Guildmaster is standing. It might be this chap over here. Look at that with the stone. Oh, this town actually does look for very fine. Look at that. We, we go. Oh man, we can make our own weapons here. Oh, fantastic. Now, I don't know if my relationship with the Lord 
is good enough for us to get an enterprise. Well, apparently they know me and uh, they trust me. Now, I will also promise that every time that we come across peasants that need help in their lands, that we will never turn a blind eye. Even though it might be difficult and we might even lose everything, we cannot have the peasants being suppressed any longer. So, let's take a quick look. So, this will actually give us a minus... Oh, wait. Um, a caravan. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll decide on that later. I've been doing a lot of things. So, grain, 119. Uh, leather... Is 196 wine 90 that's also not too much I don't necessarily want to have like the 10,000 one if there is something that is just as good so 318 that's not bad that definitely is not bad oh I already pressed that one sorry for that um, tools no A velvet Oh, but this is kind of tempting. 560. I can assure you that it will not be a lot that will come just close to that. Flex. No. Okay, we are going for the velvet one. And what this does for us is that we can now finally... You know, remember those hedge knights that I was having? And they were costing us 300. A unit. We can finally start getting them. We can finally start getting them. Um, do we have something else that we want to do here? Uh, we cannot recruit anyone else. So that's a bit of a shame. There was no one there in the tavern. And I've been looking around the map. Uh, I don't want to start attacking the Empire. We are not ready to attack the Empire. It is just too large. Too large. So I I'm actually looking towards... Um, this land over here it is on the other side of the map and as you know we have the sea raiders over here and they are nice to treat train in troops and I don't want to be starting making a war with the Ragnar clan because they're Vikings they're strong but also we now got our very first enterprise in one of their towns so I'd rather have a battle with these guys once we are up uh, up to a point where I can say well I think we are now strong enough to actually start and attack these guys now if, let's see so we need some food we desperately need some food and if I come across a campaign I will start to uh, hire them so once again let me know in the comment section if you want to be a lord or a subscriber companion oh no 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 I hate pork in this army that's going to be very important. So, Iden Ben is here now. He is uh, no longer feeling down. My loyal chap, my loyal chap, I'm so grateful that you have chosen to be in my army. Not many do, though, okay? Oh, wow, that was a weird sentence. I can do English, mate. Um, so, not many people will do so because uh, we're going against everything that we believe. Now, oh, look at that. We've got, we got a female over here. Are you a traveler? Um, you look like one that doesn't settle for too long in a single place. Your face shows the mark of quite a few scraps. The dust of the road covering your boots, your clothes and, and your weapons. A sign. The signs are clear. Holy crap, this is a long line. If you want to read that, by all means, press the pause button, but... Damn. Well, maybe you're very skilled, but... How expensive are you? Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, young one. Okay, let's get rid of one of these guys. Um, what was your story again? Uh huh. 600 dinars. Okay, here we go. We got ourselves a second companion. If you uh, don't mind playing as a female, or perhaps you are a female viewer or subscriber, perhaps, uh, do let me know. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going based on if you are commenting. You have to ask to be that certain character. So we got uh, Aris, Arius, or something like that. If you want to be her, do let me know. Um, she is um, skilled in a lot of things by the looks of it. She's athletic, so she might be a very good uh, archer. That we can spec up to be a medic. 
A medic wouldn't be that bad. I don't want to keep losing everyone. Now, as you could also see, I've leveled up twice off camera. And I wouldn't mind getting some more leadership. Because uh, my strength is all quite nice. At 21, we'll get an extra point. But as you can see here, it's, it's not only there yet. So let's do charisma, two points. So next time, we'll get some more. Let's do some prison management. Well, the shield could definitely be nice, but I'm only using the shield with the lance. So perhaps we are going for power strike. Uh, do the two-handed weapons, do the polar, and we'll leave the rest. Um, oh wait, I don't, I don't have, I don't have room for that. Okay, let's get going. Perhaps we can find ourselves. I'm actually, I'm not quite. Sure. Oh my god, there's so many truths expiring. Um, let's see, companion complaints is turned off. Uh, everyone will go for infantry after knockout is charged or and formations have been disabled. So resume traveling. You can see these guys are diff definitely not having a good day. Um, I think it might be time. I think it might be time to see if we can find someone to, to attack. Although we still have about 16, 17 guys. They are not nearly there yet to attack a vessel of this realm. I, I say we go here. Now, one thing does still stand. I will not raid any of the villages. I will not allow uh, the sort of thing that people say a lot like a black knight that will do your dirty work. No, we are not one of those noble lords. Uh, we are honor bound. So let's go there. Uh, some units are ready to be upgraded. That's uh, quite nice. Uh, they are not evil doers. Okay, let, let's level up a few of them. So, some spearmen. Some raiders. Oh, wow. You are the emperor himself. I, I cannot choose to attack you. Not with my army size at the moment. And I don't want to venture out into too deep into their territory. Now, but this does look very nice. 42, and they're looters, so surrender or die. Oh, this is a nice battle. I Also, I've changed the buttons back to uh, where I can now say infantry form that shield wall with the F5 button. That is uh, less confusing than it was before. So, you come up there. So let them come to us, and I think I might even want to move my infantry down a bit, and move my archers up there, infantry move down a bit. Let's take a quick look. So there are some half naked guys, um, yeah this is definitely not going to be enjoyable for them, uh, I'd say that we go down there, we go down there, this guy is annoying me. Oh, wow, look at that, Iris, our new companion, oh, I terribly missed her, has already made her first kill, okay, infantry, go in there, please, okay, jump, so I'm not getting stuck in the first row, okay, let's see if we can do something about these bloody guys, yeah, already such an improvement, such an improvement, this lands at least. I'm actually doing damage now. We will have no prisoners and no problems with attacking one of these guys in the back. Like you can see now. Hell yeah. Oh, we did nicely there. Okay, everybody is still chasing after one of these guys. Now, if you press with the F1, they will start walking into formation. Oh, sorry for that. Oh yeah, James Truesteel. And now I realize I've actually made a very, very small error. Yeah, because he's no longer is James Underwood. Although his name is technically James Underwood, but we chose to change it because of our family. So I might just want to keep that. 
Um, slave drivers? No, no, I will not have any slave drivers. Uh, let's get some rural guard in here. Let's get some uh, some more archers because they are starting to do a very, very nice job. Areas, I'll move you down because you are not technically any of uh, of our companions. I just have you, so I cannot do upgrading for you. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh wow, this is um, this is quite horrible. I don't expect any of my guys to upgrade. Well, apparently he did choose to remove that shield. Okay, everything above 100. And the rest is just mere junk. I don't need junk. Okay, once again, upgrading. To, I need some more horsemen. Horsemen would be... I've already seen the marksmen, so let's do the Pell... Pellalist. Oh, so you are d javelin throwers. Okay, okay, that that's fine. You go to invaders, spearmen. Okay, nice. So we're getting some more renown. That's always nice. Okay, they have signed a treaty. Okay, so two hundred and thirty-one is what we want. There's definitely a lot of looters around here. I didn't think that would be the case. Oh, what a position this is. Okay, infantry, archers, cavalry, remain there please. I don't want to start and losing you already. Oh yeah, this one. Uh, I, I had to change some of the music, so I had to remove some due to copyright issues. Uh, as you could maybe notice in episode 4. If there is a lot of commercials in there, I'm very sorry, but that... That video is not claimed by myself, unfortunately. So, and I'm listening to this this music song. Yeah, I did a fresh update, so this one's going to be claimed by the music company as well. That's a bit of unfortunate, uh, because I do believe that this song is called um, The Capture of Camelot, or The Attack of Camelot. And that is uh, definitely claimed. Okay, not too heavily armored. Oh wow, the archers are definitely doing a nice job. I definitely want to keep them doing their job. Okay, infantry. Go forward. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see if I can still poke his stick. No, not really. I'll, I'll have to be in first person, I think. Just to do it um, correctly. Oh, you're one of my own. Sorry for that. Okay. Yes, I can still poke one with a stick. Awesome! So yeah, this is um, quite the easy victory. It's only one wounded. Uh, this is actually quite good for renown as well for XP for the troops. Uh, yeah, perform your upgrade. Holy crap, there was actually something there that was better than this. I hardly believe that. Okay. No, nothing else has uh, sparked my interest. Oh, do I really want to be in the middle of that territory and try to attack one of their lords? I don't think so. I think that is um, too much. And I don't really have the, um, the riders for them as well. I wouldn't mind getting a few riders in here. Some more horsemen. We might want to recruit a few of the em Oh, 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 oh wow. Uh, Oldenburg Empire has sent us a herald inviting us for their vassalage. But these guys, oh man, they have been suppressing peasants for so long that I will decline that. Um, this will put me into a tough spot and I reckon that everyone will do this because my renown is 198 uh, 91 at the moment. Yeah, I've been going sick. I've actually had my army reduced to 20 and Attacking those sea raiders. I was getting like 5 to 7 each time Okay, 12 12 deserters I'm still looking for someone to attack here I think uh, it, it's going to be best if we start doing some of these quests. Now, we don't have to worry about a negative relationship with any of these towns because they, they have been suppressed for so long and I think it might be time. 
might be time to uh, start, well we could recruit a few of them but nobody is willing to do so. Uh, let's go to the village center. Okay, where is... Where is the, um, the leader? No, I don't think he's up there. I, I think he might, yeah, he's up there, he's standing there, right there. Uh, let's see what kind of quest you have. If you have nothing, that this will be the end. Um, no, no. I'm, I'm, oh man. Really, it, it, I, I know that the, the mod developer is waiting, but if there is a way for the next update to have the cattle following you, then that would be such an improvement. Because people are... And I, the first time I've talked about that the cattle was running away from you, I was definitely like, oh man, that, that, that darn vanilla thing. So that's really putting people off this mod because the mod itself it is quite quite nice to play actually. Uh, but yeah, that then this is going to be it, guys. This is going to be the end of uh, episode number six. And um, I'm hoping you have enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the story. Uh, chapter two description. Uh, it will be in the description. And um, with the last. In the last uh, episode that if we're going to do that I will make sure that I will read down the entire story as for now don't forget if you want to be in my army do let me know in the comment section with a name and uh, possibly your gear and don't forget to hit that like button to give my channel a bit of a boost in the search results that's absolutely fantastic to do if you've not subscribed just yet then well please consider subscribing if you want to do so and uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Okay, have a good one guys. See you next time. Bye bye.